In this video, we're going to take a look at the Universal Collective, this global energy for the lunar month of the Leo full moon that falls on January 25th, 2024. Thank you for tuning in and watching. My name is Edward, psychic medium, animal communicator, your soul messenger host, assisting us all, including myself, to live, love, and manifest a life that our soul intended for us to live this lifetime. Let's get busy. So, we're going to just jump right in to the current week energy. But for all the current videos, I'm just going to say go to my website, EbbettRegasta.community, link Medium Tarot TV. And that's where all the current videos will be, including this, depending on when you're, when you're viewing and any uh, accompanying theme healing songs. And that's where you can subscribe for more videos, daily insight, foresight, medium tarot to be plus, video subscription service, feed your soul. All right, now jumping right in to the week energy, current week energy, which is January 25th through February 1st, 2024. It's when it's going to be the strongest. Though everything discussed here is going to be an influence for the entire lunar month, which is January 25th through February 23rd, 2024. Very good. So here we have the epitome, which suggests the end of a cycle. The epitome of the element of Earth. So all male and female Earth sun signs are activated, empowered, and or triggered. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Particularly those who are 29 years old and older than more mature energy set. Now, according to the cycle that I'm going with, it's a lunar cycle, not a solar cycle. So, the solar cycle in the States, it's already wintertime as of December 21st or so, 2023. But this is the this is the final hurrah, the final week, the final push of that element of Earth. So this gives us a very productive edge, though more so for those who have already put in the time and the energy and the effort. That started, let's say, three months ago, about, okay? So the element of Earth is work, job, finances, career, sense of security within, self-worth, self-love, self-esteem, self-confidence. That's what makes us or breaks us. Long-range goals and our physical health. This is... This is really good news. It's a really it's a sight for sore eyes because for those who have previously put in that time, that energy, that effort, it gives us almost like an umbrella of activity that would not normally be at this time of year in the States, going by it being technically winter. So That's definitely an edge. So hopefully you're one of the productive people. All right. Now, going to the day energy. So let's see what's going on. So we actually start off the, the day, the morning, with the, the moon in Zodiac Cancer. And then the moon enters Leo at 2.40. No, 2.37 a.m. Eastern, and adjust the time to where you are on the globe. So Pacific Coast, the moon entered Leo last night. Now, the full moon is at 12.54 p.m. Eastern, adjust the time to where you are on the globe. And the color of the day is crimson. This is also known as the cold moon. Well, I'm sure it will be cold here in the States. But we'll see what Mother Nature, um, Mother Nature has to bring, at least on the East Coast.
Now, this is the Astrological Association of the planet Venus and Aquarius. This is detaching. This is stepping back. So you take the necessary action, and then you step back, and you allow things to unfold, including people, to unfold naturally and organically. Just let it all happen without being a backseat driver or hovering. Now, this falling, I mean, right on a full moon, but if it was around full moon week, if it was a full moon week, it would still count. This is going to expose those who have been trying to get away with something that they should not be doing. This is definitely going to be, it's definitely going to expose it. And, okay, I'll wait until I get to the um, theme healing song to explain. But, if you are in a situation where people have been getting away with stuff, and quite honestly, it might, you know, you might be peeved about it, um, then the theme healing song is um, definitely going to resonate, but we didn't get there yet. So this is a mindset. And Aquarius is the air energy, air sign, which is all about tomorrow. Venus is more um, more about our feelings, actually. So we will have to keep our emotions, our feelings in check, not to get in the way of us being productive, having anything to do with the element of Earth. Okay? All right. Very well. Then we go to the Psychic Insight theme for this full moon. And we have the Leo full moon at five degrees Leo. The Astrological Association is Saturn in Leo. Why so serious? That's serious. All right. So if you're astrologically inclined, you look to see where five degrees Leo is in your chart. That's where the spotlight's going to be. The house, the planets in there all affected. And then you look at the opposite side of the chart, which would be five degrees Aquarius. And that's where the shadow is. So there's the light and there's the shadow. So both are influenced where Aquarius is. That house, any planets in that house. Okay. And that'll give us a clue as to how it's going to, how we are going to be personally influenced and how we can personally make it the best possible, whatever is necessary from healing, growth, evolution, change, or just allowing ourselves, it's a concept, to, to have what we want and desire. Mm, I know. All right. Now, the energy that I attribute to this is very different. It is socializing and networking. But that's really going to help us with the financial end of things. But it is a check-in to make sure that you have business cards for business. Business, obviously. For business cards or some way of having people have your information so they can get in touch with you. And networking. Well, I don't know what Mother Nature is going to bring us, but it's, it is, it is a lunar month to socialize and to network. So let's do as much as possible, you know, providing, see what Mother Nature provides, I should say. And um, there's always social media and there's always online if need be. 
as we found out during lockdown shutdown, now didn't we? If we didn't know prior, of course. But it certainly made working from home and being online, connecting online, in vogue. All right, or in the know. Mother of all necessity, right? Okay. Now, if we're not normally social, not everybody is social creatures, um, this is reminding us that then we need to be a little bit more, okay? To go a little bit beyond your comfort zone. Or, so it might be that it, it really depends on us as individuals. We might need to be more. Some of us might need to be less. Some of us um, might be at the point of overexposure. So it depends on our situation, what we want, what our goals are, what our end games are. That's what it all depends on. So remember, you apply what's necessary, and then you step back and allow. All right. Now, theme healing song, my favorite part. So I did receive the keywords of detach or detachment for the win. And that would definitely come from the day energy of stepping back, especially mentally, and allowing things, issues, people to unfold naturally and organically. Though we ended up with the song called 24 Hours, uh, released 2021 by Agnes, and I believe she is a Swedish singer. But the vibe of the song, because we are talking a Leo full moon, and Leo is bold and bright and expressive, and this energy is all of that. <laughs> it's disco-esque, but fresh. It is not a rotten tomato. It is not a rehashing. Okay. Now, 24 hours. What the artist says about the video, right, right under the uh, music video, is it's the 24 hours that we go through emotionally. And we go through all these stages emotionally to heal, to process, to move on with our life. And that's the gist of the song. But if that doesn't resonate, if you're not going through an emotional period, good for you, then I would say think of 24 hours where things can change in 24 hours. Okay? That's how I would say to take it then. All right. So, in conclusion, let us ride that productive wave. Got another lunar month of it, so I say we go for it. We put out the necessary time, energy, and then we step back and allow. That's vital. And that kind of is almost like saying removing our emotions from an equation. And that theme healing song would help us process said emotions if needed, if necessary. And man, oh man, socialize and network, depending on what Mother Nature provides, but definitely social media online. Because if not, we're going to lose out. All right. Make it the best one possible. We hope to see you real soon in another, in another video. Or by this time, hopefully, the, you would be able to see me at the new location in Warwick, New York. Light Club Curiosity Shop at 40 Main Street. At the time of this filming, I don't, didn't know exactly when the opening, grand opening would be but hopefully by by this point i would i would imagine so by this point it would be open so you can see me there or you can have um you can go to my website at regasta.community link readings whatever my current schedule is i'll have it up there and you can also arrange for telephone reading as well all right make it a good one thanks